Hi, this is Karen Greenhouse, and I am going to show you um, how to generate random numbers using Casio calculators. I'm going to throw, show three different calculators um, because these are the three basic face plates that Casio uses, no matter uh, which calculator number you're using, if it has a similar faceplate, it's going to have the same steps. So the first one I'm showing is probably the easiest one. It's uh, one of our simpler calculators. It's the FX55 Plus, used a lot in elementary and middle school. And it's nice because it has its random number right up here at the top in nice uh, kind of purple. And above it is the random integer number. So the first thing you want to do is we we want fact in this particular case, I'm going to show you how you can make fraction uh, numbers show up. So I want to make sure under setup that I am in math. So I'm going to just click number one, make sure I'm in math. And now all I do to generate a random number is to choose the random number button and then hit equals. And I have my random number. Notice it's a nice fraction, not a simple fraction. It's great for helping students get some number sense. Like for example, is this close to half? Is this close to one? And the next number generator is that a bigger or smaller number. So you're really getting some number sense going on there. You can change them to decimal simply by choosing the decimal to fraction uh, button that's on the calculator. If I wanted to generate an integer whole number, I would simply use the same button, but I'd have to hit the shift first because it's in yellow. And now with random integers, you have to give it a range. So let's say we're going to simulate rolling dice. And so we need a range from one to six. So you simply put in the range of numbers you want. So I want to start with one. I need to put my comma, which is above the pi here. And then six and close out my parentheses. Now when I choose equal, I'm going to get a random number somewhere between one and six. And if I continue to hit equal, I continue to generate random numbers somewhere between one and six. And this is a great way to simulate if you don't have dice, for example, and you're doing an experiment when you're rolling dice or playing a game. This is a great way to use your calculator. So that is the FX55 Plus key, um, lay, key layout, basically. So now we're going to go into one of our scientific models. So I'm going to get the 350ES. So any of our scientific calculators, they're going to have this faceplate. They're going to look relatively similar, different colors, that type of thing. But random integer is going to be in the same spot, which is down here above the period key, right? So we got random number in yellow, meaning we'd have to hit shift and then the period. Or random integer, I'd have to hit the alpha button and then the period. Again, I want to make sure under setup, which is up here at the top again, that I'm in math. I'm going to choose one and then one again and I'm in math so now I'm good so when I do my random number I'm going to hit random number hit my equals and I again am generating random numbers which I can change to fraction if I wish if I want to do the random integer it's the same process except the buttons down here at the bottom of this particular faceplate so I'm going to hit alpha and then the period, and again, I have to enter a range of numbers. So let's say we have 20 students in the class and I've assigned each one of them a number. So I'm going to enter my numbers one through 20. And when I hit equals, I get a random number between one and 20. And that might be the student that I call on to answer a question. And when I hit the, hit the next time, student number 11 is going to answer the question. Or perhaps I'm trying to pick a team leader or you know, a group activity and this person is going to become the, the leader of that group. So this is a great, very quick and easy way to generate random numbers. So we're going to move into our more complicated ones, which are graphing calculators. It's a little more involved with the graphing calculator to get to the random number, but they still do exist. So we're going to close this one out and we're going to pull up a graphing calculator faceplate. Again, all the graphing calculators have very similar faceplates, so the steps are similar. Um, you'll see we have a menu option here, so I want to do the matrix run. So I'm going to hit execute. Don't have equal anymore. We use execute in the graphing calculator. I want to be under math, so you'll notice that's under function 4. And I want to choose options because I'm not seeing what I want here. So options in the graphing calculator give you more options than the one you see up here. So now I have, again, some more options. I'm going to hit F6 because apparently there's more that I can't see. So that's what this arrow indicates. And there I've got my probability. So random number lives under probability on the graphing calculator. 
So we're going to choose F3 in this case, and there you see random. So I now choose F4, and now I get to my random number, which can be random integer. There's lots of options in the graphing calculator. So if I choose F1 and hit execute in the graphing calculator. I again generate random numbers. Notice they're in decimal form on the graphing calculator. You can change them to fractions as well. To generate a random integer, I choose F2. And again, I still need to put a range in. So let's say we're going to roll the dice again. So I'm going to enter my range of 1 and I need my comma to 6 and I need to close my parentheses so just like the other calculators it's just in a different location on this particular faceplate and I hit execute and again I can generate multiple random numbers between 1 and 6 or whatever range I've chosen. So this is just a quick demo of how to generate random numbers using the Casio calculators. I chose three different faceplates and if you have a calculator with a faceplate similar to any of these it will work the same. So, thank you.